أعزائي المشاهدين أهلا وسهلا بكم في حلقة جديدة من برنامج رواد الأعمال كما عودناكم في كل حلقة أن نستضيف رجل أعمال مميز اخترنا لكم اليوم Special businessman Mr. Terry Downs, the CEO of MySafe. Thank you so Mr. much. Mr. Terry, welcome on our show today. Thank you. We are glad to have you today on our show. Please give us an introduction about yourself. About myself? Yeah. Oh, well, so first of all, I'm Irish. You can't escape that. Of course. Um, second of all, I'm the CEO and the founder of MySafe, as you said. I'm very happy to be here in Dubai. We came here in 2017, and uh, it's been a roller coaster ever since. And we're very, very happy with the, the nature of our, our business and how we've developed. And uh, very happy to be here with you today. Thank you. Describe that and talk about that. Uh, why did you choose Dubai among a lot of cities of the world, of course? Okay, so it's an interesting story. It's the truth. When I was a young man, uh, I started to hear a little bit about Dubai. And when I got the opportunity, long before we decided to come here and do business, I used to fly into Dubai for no other reason but to sit here the weekend and soak up that vision, so called mm -hmm. that sense of, of buzz that is Dubai, you know. And so when I got the opportunity to do this project uh, and to do it in Dubai, we jumped at it. Because why? Dubai was that one place in the world where you have this sense of innovation, this sense of can do, mm -hmm. this sense of, you know, a want to embrace world's first. And uh, we also enjoyed the regulatory environment in the sense that it provided an opportunity for us to stress test our business in an environment where everything had to be 100% or forget it, you were not going to do business. Yes. That for us was a positive, a big positive development. And finally, if I may say so, we came here because Dubai is a society that appreciates convenience, Yes. that buys into the smart concept. And it's also a place where you know, you showcase to the world what you've achieved. So it's one thing to tell stakeholders or potential investors or the market that, you know, I've developed a safety deposit box center and it's in any city in the world. Yeah. It's a different thing. When it's in Dubai. When you tell them I've done it and it's in the Dubai. Yes, for sure. That Dubai factor is a big part of what we're trying to achieve here in terms of exposing our vision and our innovation to the world. Yes, for sure. Mr. Terry, we would like also to know about the services that you provide for the customers. Okay, so in essence, we, we keep it very simple. The safety deposit box business has been around for about 150 years. And there are reasons why we became interested in that market and felt now was a good time to disrupt that. Mm and to look at it afresh and see how could we do it different and how could we make it more relevant to a modern society and more important, how can we make it more accessible to a, the market? Of course. And so that's, that's the service. It's a safety deposit box rental service. You rent the box and you use that as a location within which you can store items of value. Can we know the procedure of renting the box itself? Let's say the period that the, the client can rent the box and the, let's say, for example, the price range about okay. everything about that. So the whole concept is infused, if you like, with this concept of convenience. So in our case, the rental process could not be more simple or transparent. The only document you need is a copy of your passport, or your Emirati ID. We provide the service to residents or non-residents alike. Mm -hmm. The registration takes about 10 minutes and then the box is available immediately. Mm -hmm. The convenience continues in the sense that you can rent for three months, six months, 12 months, multiple years. We're the only company in the Middle East who has this fully automated service. So you'll see later, it's a, it's a state of the art, all bells, all whistles. It's a very, very interesting concept. Uh, we're the only guys with multiple sites here in the Middle East. So we have sites in JLT, we have sites on the Palm Jumeirah, and a site here at the airport free zone. And we're the only guys who can offer to insure the contents of your box with the biggest insurance market in the world, Lies of London. So we can insure those, the contents up to a million dirham per box. In contrast, no bank in the world 
can ensure the contents of your safety deposit box, just to give you a sense of, yes. of where we is. You asked me about costs. No deposit, no registration fee. You simply pay for the rent of the box up front. And that's that's really that's really to say what's make you what makes you special. Yeah, it's we should be. I mean, we're a, we're a service industry. We should provide a service to the client, and it should be as convenient as possible to access that service in terms of registration, and then thereafter to continue to access. So we're open 24/7 mm -hmm. and staffed all sites. Mm -hmm. So once you've registered, you never again have to make an appointment. You come and go as you please. There's because no it's challenges. Twenty-four seven. Twenty-four seven. All the sites. Uh, what after renting? What do I ha what do I get after renting? Let's say there's a vault. I'll get. Okay. So what exactly do I get after renting? Let's say that you said that it's fully automated, so no human beings are interacting with with you. Correct. So it's a state-of-the-art security. You don't see any, you know, forty-ton steel doors. You don't mm -hmm. see vaults and bars, and uh, because in today's you don't need that kind of physical security barrier. So in our case, it's state-of-the-art. You provide it with a swipe card to allow you to enter a privacy pod. You enter. A, you select a four-digit PIN code, just like you would with your ATM. Mm -hmm. We provide you with biometric access, so we take the we measure the flow of blood in your vein, which is a unique yeah, measurement feature. That's unique so that's all biometrics. And then you're the only person with a key to that box. So in order to get to your box, you need they must key. have the card, you must know the four digit pin code, you must be physically present, so we can forensically link you mm -hmm. to the opening of that box. And of course, you're the only person then with a physical key. key. So what if the key has just lost? What's, what are the procedures? That okay. So the client should, should do. There are, there are no complications in the sense that no one of those credentials being lost presents any challenge because the swipe card on its own has no value uh -huh. unless it also comes with the four digits and your biometrics and stuff. Uh -huh. So the risk part of it is managed that way. If you lose your card, if you lose your you forget your four digits, all of that stuff we can fix very simple, very straightforward. The small challenge is your keys. The keys can't be replaced. There are no spare keys. So if you lose your keys, then we follow a procedure, of an insurance protocol. It might inconvenience you by a number of days. And at the end of three or four days, you come and in your presence, we take a locksmith, we drill open that lock, uh -huh. replace the lock in your presence and give you back the two new keys. So basically course, no one can open no, it's not the possible. box without the key, and if there's no key, we can break the yeah, the box, but in your presence. Correct, exactly. That's that's yeah. really great, and that's really special, by the way, correct. doing that for the clients. Uh, Mr. Terry, we would also like to know the vision for my safe. Yeah, vision. It's a great word in Dubai, isn't it? You have to have yeah. a vision. You have to have. To yeah, and we had a vision when we came and that was to develop, prove the concept, and expose it to the world. And uh, I'm very, very pleased to say that we are completely sold out at a number of our sites here in Dubai right now. Uh, we also have two sites in, in, the, in East Africa, mm -hmm. as we speak. But more importantly, we have a vision. And that vision is to roll out this concept right across the Middle East. So we have a, an expectation that in the next 12 months, we'll add a further 10 sites. That's, that's, that's a portfolio. huge number. That's a huge Within number. 12 months. But our vision course. continues. We're going to add a further 24 sites over the next 30 months. So the total portfolio will be 34 new sites added over the next 30 months. Mm -hmm. And that will take us across the Middle East, across the UAE, into Saudi, into Bahrain, into Doma, uh, Oman, into Qatar, uh, and further afield. So that's the vision, that's the plan and we are in a position to start executing that plan within the next couple of weeks, quite literally. Hopefully everything goes Inshallah. like the plan. Inshallah. Inshallah. Uh, Dubai is one of the safest cities in the world. So how can this affect your business as well as, uh, let's say, the businessmen that are looking to invest their money in Dubai? Okay, so security is a real issue. Of course it is. And I've been 
I've been humbled to work in environments that are significantly more risky than Dubai. But frankly, all that does is reinforce the consistent message around the world that you're at risk everywhere in the world. Dubai is different in the sense that if you take reasonable precautions, then the security infrastructure in Dubai is second to none. It is the safest in the world. Mm -hmm. It's just that we as a society, we have a duty to yes. support that by taking the precautions that are reasonable. Mm -hmm. And we advocate the view that in our case, you know, if, you, if you've got items of significant value, there are times when it's reasonable to place those in a secure storage environment and that's what people should do. And that's exactly how it happens. Of course, uh, Dubai in specific and the UAE in general has reached this level of safety and security because of the great vision of the rulers. We would like to thank Zainal Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum and all the UAE rulers for this great vision. Uh, Mr. Terry, it was an honor having you with us in our show today, hoping all the best for you and your business. In the end of the interview, we would like to know how can we reach MySafe? How can you reach us? So we're, we're contactable 24-7. We're very active on social media. We've got a 24-7 hotline, a 24-7 WhatsApp. And uh, so, and of course, all our sites are open and staffed 24-7. So course. access is very usable. If you'll allow me to mention our website is mysafe.ae. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Everything you could possibly want to know, you can okay. find it there. You can also pop into any of our sites at any time. Of course. Thank you again for having us Thank today, you. Mr. Terry. إلى هنا أعزائي المشاهدين نختم حلقتنا المميزة لهذا الأسبوع. تابعونا each Friday and Saturday on your channel ABC Arabia. دمتم بخير وفي أمان الله.